What's up everybody, I'm Maddie, and today I'm upgrading from the Ryzen 5 3600X to the Ryzen 9 3900X. Okay, now the first thing you want to do when upgrading your CPU is make sure that the motherboard you're using supports the upgrade. I'm using the ASUS ROG Strix B450 F Gaming motherboard, and I can see here on the product support page that my new 3900X is supported as of BIOS version 2301. It's also nice to see here that this motherboard also supports the new Zen 3 CPUs all the way up to the 16 core Ryzen 9 5950X. I tried to get a 5900X but that wasn't working out so I saved some money and I got myself a 3900X on eBay for just 320 bucks. Now I'm checking CPU Z to see my current BIOS version and I can see here that I'm on version 2605. This version does support the 3900X, but it's still pretty outdated. So I'm going to update to the newest BIOS anyway. You can also see your BIOS version right here in the post screen. I'm going to update my BIOS the easiest way for an ASUS board, which is via internet. The system will enable internet connectivity and then reboot. Then you just select internet again and then DHCP. It'll show you the newest version available, then you download it and update. Pretty simple. And now I'm ready to swap out the CPU. Depending on your CPU cooler, this can be either a headache or it can be really simple like it is for me. I'm using the Intermax ETS-T50 Axe. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So of course when buying a used AMD CPU or any PGA CPU, you want to check for any bent or broken pins before you try to install it. This one looks pretty good so I'm ready to go.
quick tip. When you're applying thermal paste, it helps out a lot if you remove the cap from the applicator. So that's a quick, easy Zen 2 upgrade. I love the AM4 platform because of the amazing compatibility. This is the third processor I've used with this motherboard in the past three years. Starting with the Ryzen 7 2700, then the 3600X, and now the 3900X. And if I could have bought one, it would be the new 5900X. And now for your entertainment, you can laugh at my first attempt at making some performance graphs. Check out this video next. YouTube thinks you'll like it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have fun.